And that's one of the reasons I've designed active meditations to become centered. The more you're centered, the more energies build up inside you. You have directed the life force and universal force, universal energy into your own center. You are centered. You're aligned with yourself. Your attention has come into this direction. Means you are denying, you're ignoring the world as if it doesn't exist and it has no, it doesn't matter, it has no value. And you're also denying your mind and your thoughts, you're denying your emotions, and you are denying that you are this body. And you, all your attention comes to one place the observer. You're only focused on the observer within yourself and you're getting centered. And in this thing, in this trans transition, transaction, the grid gets activated and the energy starts to accumulate. The life force, prana, that you're breathing in, which I'm going to, in the self-awakening mastery, I'm going to teach you how you build this energy through your navel. I'm going to teach you how you do that so the energy gets stronger and more powerful and rising it to the point that it comes to the final leap, the explosion. But you have to gather this energy together because this gather, gathering of this energy through centeredness to being focused, to being concentrated on one-pointedness will fill your fire because you do have the fire inside you. You want to become free. But you have to create a situation to fuel it so there's enough thrust underneath this rocket. You know, when this, they're sending the rocket up to the sky, to the space, and in order for it to get away from the gravity for this spaceship, this rocket which is going up into the space, it has to pass the earth gravity to get out of the earth atmosphere. So it needs a lot of thrust underneath it, power to push it up for this rocket to carry all this weight, all these equipments and, and people to the space. And even then, it needs to go further up to get away from the gravity of the earth so it doesn't get pulled back. So it needs a lot of thrust under it. And the same thing is here with your spiritual development. You have to build your energy through minding your own business. If your attention is on Donald Trump or Biden or the election or COVID-19 or what's going on in the world, there's always dramas in the world. Now there's this war in Azerbaijan and Armenia and blah, blah, blah. Or there's drama in your family or drama with your kids or drama with your partner or drama with your pets or there is or land or home or attorney or somebody died and you're fighting over getting your inheritance. There's always things that divert your, ed your energy and you're giving your energy away to things that don't give you anything back. Especially the news. They don't give you anything. They just suck your energy. And you're left out empty, tired, exhausted, 
and it creates panic and anxiety in you and it weakens your immune system it weakens you this is what you've been doing all your life that's why you can't become free because you're not minding your own business you're not building the energy within yourself I mean if you get a chance give me uh, the lightning notes of Zarathustra my book and I want to read a couple things to them so thank you so you have to mind your own business and in that, ignoring your thoughts and get in the habit of being an observant of your emotions too and an observer of the body. But you start to work on yourself and you build up the energy. You keep building up the energy. You keep doing your practice. But stick to one practice. Don't deviate. Oh, I'm going to go and then and then and then like this and oh, I'm going to go. You're just wasting your time. You're feeding the mind. You're not accomplishing anything. It's mental ejaculation. That's what you're doing. You have to stick to the practice that brings you peace. And that's not always pretty or entertaining. At times it may seem boring, but stick to your practice that brings you peace. Calmness. It calms you down and it brings bliss. Soon, very quickly, bliss begins to come. That's the byproduct of being centered. That's the byproduct of being quiet, being silent. Bliss comes. And then you know you're on the right path. Because when you touch that, you want more. But you don't know you're the generator of it. But I'm telling you, you're the one who you're looking for. You're the only one who can do it. But you have to have the willing to do it and dedication. So you build up this energy and it keeps building up and building up so this build up of this powerful energy is what begins to elevate you to a higher level of consciousness